Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have the question in order traversal of a binary tree from hacker rank. So the link is mentioned in the description below and let's now get straight into the explanation of the concept. So in order traversal should the this order should first have the left node, then the root node and then finally the right node. So let's now discuss the sample input given in the question. So we'll first start with root equals to 1. With just a second. With root equals to 1. And we'll first check for its left child, which is null in this case. So we'll move back to 1 and print this one so now one is printed now from one which was our root we'll move on to the right child two which is now our root let's now check for the left child which is null again now from this null we'll move back to two as our root and print this so now one and two are printed from here we'll move on to the right child of two which is 5 next so now our root equals 5 so let us now check for its left child which is 3 now the root equals 3 so we won't be printing 3 we will instead check for its left child which is null so there's nothing we'll go back to 3 and then print our root node which is 3. Now, once the root is printed, we'll move on to the right child, which is 4. So, now root equals 4. And let's now check for its left child, which is null. So, now we'll be printing 4. After 4 is printed, we'll check for its right child, which is again null. So, after this is done, we'll move on, we'll move back to 4 back to 3 and from here uh, we'll move back to 5 so our parent node was actually 5 so we'll print 5 and then from 5 we'll move on to its right child which is 6 so now root equals 6 so let's first check for its left child which is null so after after that, we'll move back to 6, which is our root, print it, then check for its right child, which is null again. So, I hope this traversal was clear. And uh, let's now look into the code, uh, following which I'll be discuss uh, discussing the dry run of this code. So, this is the in order function. If the root equals null, that is if there is no root, then we'll simply return. Then uh, we'll be calling the recursive function that is in order root left. So we'll be passing the left child of the root as the root in this function. And once that is done, we'll, done, uh, we'll print the root data and then uh, the right child of the root will be passed into the function. So let us now dry run this code. So initially discussing this block, we have root equals 1. As you can see in this diagram, root equals 1. So since the, uh, the root is not equal to null, that is uh, there is 1 in it. So this return statement is not valid and simply we'll simply move on to in order. Uh, root left the left child uh, will be passed into the function as the root that is here so now uh, that will be passed and the, there is no left child of one so we'll simply uh, return from this statement to the calling function so this was our calling function and uh, we'll return here and from here we'll resume the code so see out root data so root data will be printed that is 1 
next we have from here we'll move on to the next one that is in order root right so now right child of one will be passed into the function as the root so the right child of one is two once that happens that is now coming to this block so root equals to will move on to its left child which is null again so we'll uh, return from this statement to the calling function so we'll return here and then resume so see out root data so 2 will be printed and from here in order right root right so the right child of root uh, of 2 will now be passed so the right child of 2 is 5 as you can see in the diagram so now discussing this block root equals 5 from here in order root left so the left child of 5 is 3 from the diagram so from here we will not be uh, moving on to the next steps because the recursive function has been called so going to the next block root equals 3 so now uh, in order root left which is null again so we'll see out 3 and from there in order root right now the right child of 3 is 4 so root equals 4 that is in this block root equals 4 in order root left which is again null from there 4 will be printed and after that in order root right now there is no right child of 4 so uh will return from here so one thing to be noted is the 4 block is fully executed we can say that this has been completed coming to coming back to 3 uh this block is also fully executed that is all the statements have been executed in this one so we'll go back to this one and uh we'll be printing five from here that is the next statement will be c out five this is the next statement which should have been executed but did not occur because of the recursive function just before this one so c out five after this we'll be calling in order root right so the right child of 5 is 6 from the diagram so root equals 6 in order root left so since there is no left child of 6 uh, we will simply return we will simply return from the calling function and see out 6. So now 6 is printed. From here we have the next statement that is see, uh, in order root right. Since there is no right child of uh, 6 will simply return. So now you can say that this block is fully executed from here we'll go back to this one even uh, root equals 5 block is completely executed and uh, from here we'll go back to 2 we'll go back to 1 and finally this code is completed since all the blocks have been fully uh, executed with all the statements so i hope this was clear and let's now code the same in the uh, compiler so let's now code the solution so if the root is null we'll simply return and if that's not the case then we'll pass the left child of root into the function see out root data
Why after that we'll pass the right child of root. So it was a very short code. So let's run this. Great. So this was the test case that we discussed, and both the outputs are same. So it has passed. So let's now submit this code. Great. So I hope this question was clear to you, and I hope the dry run and the concept uh, worked for you. So thank you so much for watching the video.